Hi my friend, we are back with our Scotch Gambit series, this time we consider the move of Pawn takes Pawn. This is an Italian game, transposes the Scotch. Here I suggest to play Knight G5. There is, a, there is another move, C3. Uh, this is very similar to Smith Moro Gambit uh, lines. But uh, I don't want to consider that because it uh, it is a more fancy line and it was discussed in many videos. I think you can find it. But this line that I'm discussing, only first few moves discussed everywhere else. But I want to go a bit deeper and see us tell you the plans, not just um, first four or five new f moves. So defense the pawn f7 has spot the weakness defense take 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 and then after check um, we take the bishop and now the game starts the main part starts from here okay everything is cool except that let's evaluate the position black has an, a knight that is developed black has double pawn that's bad black has a very bad king but uh, on the other hand what about white white didn't develop bishop knight and but white can castle also the e pawn of white uh, even though it is advanced but it's a weakness because it can be captured soon as we will see so the game is a very imbalanced game and um, what's the plan from now on uh, look at the position black has a um, lag of black escort bishop but black Escorts of black are very weak. G7 spot is defenseless. Uh, there is no pawn there. F7 spot, uh, F6 spot is uh, there is no pawn defending that. Uh, H6 spot no pawn defending H6. So black has a very bad the dark squares around the king. Also, we will see soon another direction that white put a pressure is to put pressure on B7 pawn. Uh, let me uh, show you next move of black white is going to attack this pawn all the time and keep black's um, bishop busy uh, and uh, let it to remain in the c8 forever so uh, there are several moves here but uh, it doesn't matter the general idea is the same you know, black can play uh, the pawn and this is pawn d5 either of them are fine but d6 is the most accurate one so our plan was clear right attacking the b7 spot and then uh, also using darker squares uh, darker squared bishop from b2 to g7 or from h6 to g7 depending on the position and we will see both of these maneuvers by this bishop best move for black is a rook e8 that i showed here any other move is bad and gives a relatively winning advantage to white why for example uh, of course black can kick the queen for a moment mm, this is not a mm, the really winning advantage and uh, but it's a good advantage for white but uh, some moves uh, like uh, the, some move like queen attacks the pawn is not good why because uh, black cannot win that pawn uh, white can simply defend it with the knight you cannot push this to this pawn to uh, win it but this is not the case when black attacks with the rook and black should win a pawn otherwise having a exposed king weak dark squares if uh, they cannot develop pieces properly uh, all the weakness is for black at least should be open material right and um, finally we like wins this pawn this case we couldn't defend that pawn with the knight because simply pushing this pawn is the end of a day we cannot capture it because queen is there to defend this is a subtle difference between the two moves but already here if white doesn't black doesn't play pro um, properly and doesn't play rook e8 then it's um, basically over okay we castle takes and then this is important uh, uh, and it's natural, right? You give a check and attack the rook. Rook goes back and then develop the knight. Uh, of course, uh, here I couldn't defend with the bishop, right? Because you win a rook. So 
goes back, develop the knight, and then attack the d pawn. Now king goes away because king doesn't want to be in the uh, in the uh, same diagonal as uh, queen and doesn't want to be uh, to have the rook pinned all the time, especially since the knight is coming out. I mean, what do you want to do? You develop the bishop, knight comes out, and then soon. If you move the king is okay, but if you do something stupid like this, then uh, this is the end of the day, winning the rook. So the king should move anyways, so moves uh, earlier, but knight comes in anyways and attacks the d-pawn. Remember, black should defend the d-pawn, otherwise being equal material, even it's not equal, I mean, uh, 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 being equal material, and down position having lots of weaknesses is not the way black can survive so black should defend that pawn and the only way is to defend it with the queen and we just say that okay we don't like this pawn what's the plan here we want to develop our bishop remember bishop wants to go to wants to come in this diagonal or this diagonal we want to open the bishop right uh, similar to Smith Mora, but this time black has a very weak uh, uh, g6 square, uh, the h6 and f6 square around the king. Sorry, not g6. Takes and then attack the uh, queen. Notice that here you don't attack queen directly in the move before, you don't attack queen directly because here you give black time to decide what to do. Um, without uh, weakening the uh, structure because this pawn and the the pawn on the this pawn is very important pawn blocks over diagonal towards the king we don't want it to be here we want to kick it off and um, the move on c3 forces this and now you attack the queen and attacks our queen we retreat now if we never exchange queens unless we have a we have a big advantage uh, we earn a big advantage we don't want to exchange queens because if we exchange queens then the game is over right black is winner black is up a pawn and is a winner and will be up a, a structure as well but right now black is up a pawn but uh, the structure is awful for black because queen is around and mate is uh, everywhere okay and there are two possible, two, three possible continuations. Uh, either this move for black is either queen c5 or um, queen a5. But uh, quickly, I want to show you what happens if uh, black goes greedy and grab the pawn. We just grab it, we check, king should move. And then on the offer rook exchange, should defend, uh, should stop this exchange with knight. And then we win exchange. But you may say that why should I stop it? Why it cannot simply grab the rook, right? Um, takes, take, and then you say, yeah, we know that uh, a, e8 is weak, so we defend it. Then that's um, uh, why it offers the rook. Because wants to deliver a mate at uh, g7, and once black captures this rook, um, bishop goes there, and then mate is inevitable inevitable because yeah you know black has to give up a queen and that's it so let's go back let's go back and suppose that and then okay so after this move the plan is to bring the rook in the open file and black has to give up a exchange notice that here black doesn't win a piece right because after it takes um, we attack the queen black doesn't take that one right because if black takes that one we have a simple fork and and it's not just a fork it's opening the files everything the b pawn is also hanging it's not just a pawn it's a space of pawn chain and yes this is a plan here and let's go back now suppose black doesn't capture the pawn the best move is to play queen c5 and i mean this is very difficult to see, right? I mean, you have a pawn to capture and then why playing queen c5? I will tell you why queen c5. Because 
black wishes white to grab the palm with the queen and then exchange queen and here black is the only winner so by queen c5 or similarly queen a5 black says that you don't have time to capture the pawn my friend with the queen you can capture it with a pawn but then your own pawn is in the way of your queen to my king right the diagonal is not let me go for queen c7 c5 is better after pawn captures then uh, black plays right there then this diagonal is not that strong anymore because uh, it's uh, closed by the pawn of white itself but nevertheless this is the best move for black to attack the queen and defend the b7 spot uh, this is a two purpose move right and white plays a silent move of queen h uh, a4 i said h4 why i was said h4 because queen wants to swing to h4 and uh, now remember h6 a square is weak queen wants to go there and win and the only way for black to stop it is to uh, black cannot for example go crazy take pawn and then lose a the whole piece this is like whole piece black should stop this uh, queen maneuver or for example something like that is very stupid because queen goes over and this is very bad position for black you can analyze it on your own and see what happens here because queen goes to h6 and there is no way to stop it of course you may say that some pawn push can stop it but this just makes the position more weird than it was and uh, i mean that there are like tons of move even simple move of bishop goes back is end of a word and there is well, you are going to play bishop on d4 and there is no way to stop it i mean if there you give um, black gives a exchange uh, then that's fine and uh, still black's king is very bad or black goes greedy and then loses the queen so let's go into the main move of black um, black doesn't allow white to swing the queen over and doesn't blunder the whole thing defense with the knight this is the main move for black but then you say that okay i want to use the open file and here if black goes crazy and grab the pawn the grab the rook then it's end of a word because uh, your rook goes to open file and still uh, black squares are very weak black cannot use the bishop and cannot move the bishop basically where the bishop wants to go everywhere is bad for example here what whatever they go is bad because because there are lots of options for black for instance but i can simply bring the rook in and that's it and win all the pawns at least uh, if not mate so after uh, rook attacks the rook black cannot take the rook uh, and it's very difficult for black to basically continue and it's very counterintuitive the next move is very counterintuitive your rook is under attack what should you do yes you should play b5 and i mean if black managed to find all this uh, line then kudos to black i mean it's very difficult to find all these precise moves uh, to just keep defending and I'm not going further from here again to show you why this uh, h6 is doesn't that important for example some move uh, innocent move like um, bishop d7 you can capture capture bring the queen in and then continue attack and it's a very dangerous position but anyways I don't continue from here it, I think it's sufficient up to now that you have all the ideas that you want yes uh, the weakness of black is darker squares very weak king and uh, still the b, b pawn is weak okay push the b pawn uh, is not under no, direct damage right now but uh, still it is a big weak pawn and can be attacked at uh, the right point but main focus here is uh, darker squares and keeping the queen on the board uh, unless unless that you see that okay you cannot win the game can end in the road and accept the road sometimes but 
Uh, don't go crazy to win by all means. Maybe Black knows all the theories, okay? Uh, but it's a difficult game. Uh, Black should be very careful in this game. Um, White has no weakness basically, except being done upon. But uh, Black has all the weaknesses and should be very precise in almost. Yes, that's it. That's uh, the main line that I wanted to discuss. Also, there is a sideline that I've seen that Grandmaster Young Gustafsson on the uh, on one of the channel YouTube channels discussed that uh, for one hour but okay unfortunately it is not in english it is in german and I discussed that for like uh, one hour two hour that, that let me tell you the line discussed this line this line the, the, there couldn't be many good continuation for black because for example developing knight is met with palm push taking this uh Taking this pawn is never good. I mean, you have many options. Uh, of course, you, know, you cannot directly attack the bishop at the moment because this can be defended with the queen. But at this position, you can simply grab the pawn, for example. After takes, then attack the bishop and win it. I mean, you can again test uh, black if they go wrong and if they don't, then just grab the um, bishop and if they take then go with bishop takes pawn and then this is a very nice position for white white is down a pawn but is a very aggressive position and when you have uh, the opposite colored bishops on the board with the queen and the side that is attacking is the winner side i hope you enjoyed next time maybe i analyze one of the master games see you next time Bye.